three, two, one. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Blake from YG Cell, bringing you a brand new podcast video, and this is the first podcast I've ever actually done without anyone here to join me today because I'm such a loser. I have nobody here. I have nobody's friends. I have nobody's friends. Well, I am an idiot when it comes to talking out loud. Uh, okay, so today we're going to be talking about a bunch of stuff I wrote on a giant piece of paper. It's on my window seal right now. It's like it's a giant set. You're going to hear a lot of echoing, which isn't going to be much of a surprise because I usually always record in my bathroom, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, let's get right into the introduction of this podcast today. What is this podcast about? Let me think about this. What is this podcast about, really? It's, it's just basically about anything I want to talk to you guys about because it's a place where I can talk to you guys without having to worry about editing or having like a serious topic to talk about or anything like that. So I guess that really transitions us, transitions us to the next topic I want to talk about in the introduction is unique things about my podcast, unlike my commentaries. You know, this podcast is going to be really unlike my commentaries, which is, uh, I guess I'm going to tell you why, because that's how I wrote it down. Um, my commentaries, I usually like to record like 20 minutes of audio. I uh, edited, I edit the crap out of it until it goes down to like uh, what, six minutes is my average video. And then I'll put it up. Why is everything shaking so much? I don't know. I think that's the heat. But anyway, uh, I usually uh, I dumb down a bunch of audio to make like a five minute video and you know that's how it works because I like to make sure that my videos are all straight to the point, stutter free, pause free, all the other stuff. And that's we're not going to be doing that in this podcast because in the podcast anything that stays, anything that happens stays, alright? Anything that happens is going to stay in the podcast because like so if there's like a long pause and somebody walks in and starts raping me, you know, it's going to happen, you know? Dude! <laughs> Like how that happened, and that was extremely cringy, and I want to cut it out, but I can't cut it out because this is a podcast, and you don't edit anything out of the podcast. Anyway, what are some unique about? Right, I just did that. Uh, these are, uh, the podcasts are going to be like 10 minutes long, and yeah, you know, 10 minute long podcast over some gameplay with my uh, Instagram link up in there, description, and the gameplay source. It's, it's, it's a really uh, basic video formula, which is why I'm going to be making it every two days, hopefully. So yeah. Uh, why am I doing the podcast? Uh, why am I doing the- why am I doing the podcast? Oh, uh, yes! Because my phone is reaching its last days, guys, right? We need to kiss this phone goodbye. I have made my first video on YouTube with this phone. When? Uh, uh, that one video I did when I was in a hotel room. Uh, it was, uh, called My Last Video, and I was reacting to Jacob Satorius and stuff, and that was, like, the one video I made. No! It was the video I made where it says, I got some new guy news, guys. And I had that on there. And that was the first video I've ever made on my phone. And that's when I started making videos on my phone. So yeah, this that, that phone I'm using right now, the phone I have right here, that you're currently listening to me on, on the phone that I'm recording. Ah, gee, I'm an idiot. Uh, yeah, but that phone, that, that phone right here, is, uh, it's gonna die someday. And it's gonna die for good. No, no charge is gonna help it because it's an old phone, man. It's a really old phone. It really held its own. It doesn't even, it didn't even break the, I never even broke the screen. I, I took a lot of good care of it. And we're coming to the days where it's not working as good as it should so i decided that i'm gonna start doing podcasts and stuff because when it requires because podcasts require minimalistic editing you don't have to do that much stuff and yeah i could i you know if i were to just make a regular commentary i would have just cut out everything i just said right now and just said it's because i got minimalistic editing so yeah my phone's my phone's really old and this is the easiest way i can make videos Besides live streaming, but uh, my internet's not here. The internet here is not that good, so I can't do live streaming. Let's crack my nails. Okay, uh, topic one, Veterans Day. Veterans Day happens Saturday. Uh, it's Monday right now when I'm recording this. You're probably going to get this on Tuesday. I don't know if I already told you guys this before. But, uh, okay, uh, topic one, Veterans Day. Veterans Day, uh, what, what me and my family did for this Veterans Day. Okay, what did me and my family do for this Veterans Day? I was watching my brothers. I was, uh, my mom and dad went out for a date night. My dad is actually a U.S. Navy veteran. He did something, he worked for the CBs where he did a lot of construction work and it was really cool and stuff. He liked to tell us a lot of stories about boot camp and stuff. But uh, my mom and dad, they went out for a date night and my dad went out to a restaurant because veterans got to eat free at this like Applebee's place. My mom and dad said, you know what, let's go out for a date night. And they did that. So I just babysitted my brothers, which was an extreme hell for me because let's just say um, my brothers are not the best kind of well-behaved kids. I'm just telling you right now. I'm actually babysitting them right now, but they're out in the living room watching Thundermans and I'm, I'm surprised they haven't started crap yet. Okay. Uh, my family, my mom and dad went for a date night. I watched uh, a TV with them basically the entire time, and except for 
Silas, which is my little baby brother. If you guys haven't seen my uh, videos, and this is like the first video you're watching of me, uh, I have four brothers. They're all younger than me. There's Eric, who is the second youngest, the second oldest besides me. There's Zachary, who's right before him, and then Christopher and Silas. Silas is a little baby. He's not really a baby. He's like four, but we call him the baby because he's the last one my mom's going to have, apparently. But, uh... Silas was making a bunch of freaking really annoying sounds along with everyone else, basically, and we couldn't find the remote for the first half, I don't think, and actually that was yesterday. I don't, I don't know. It was, it was really stressful. It was really stressful, and my mom and dad brought home pizza afterwards, and it was a giant pizza, and I ate my own pizza, so. That was, that was Veterans Day. Um, what me and my family did for the, I already said that. Okay, what my school did for this Veterans Day, this is actually a little bit more interesting because my school has never, uh, or at least any school I've ever been to never really did anything special for Veterans Day, except for this school I'm in right now. Basically, what we did was, uh, uh, we, we all got, we, was like, we got this giant prep assembly, and, uh, there was, like, the, they had the school band, it was on the one side of the gym, and they were all playing, like, national anthem and stuff, we all did the Pledge of Allegiance, like, three times, and we got, like, a bunch of freaking old geezers, I don't know if that's an offensive term, but we got a bunch of old people with a bunch of, uh, with, in their uniforms, and they all sat down in their chairs, and they, they sat down, and, the principal like all thanked them for their service and stuff. And it was really dramatic. It was really cool. No one had, no one was really crying though because, let's just say like, it, uh, even though it wasn't that, it felt really half-assed. I don't know. It, it just, it just did. I don't know why. Hmm. Just watch somebody get offended by that. Someone's gonna get offended by that big time. But yeah, yeah. Um, Veterans Day. We, we did a bunch of Pledge of Allegiances. People gave speeches. And it was all pretty much good. We all got to do, like, they, they actually prayed in the, the class, too. They actually played, prayed for it, which I don't think you're allowed to do in a school, but whatever. Um, yeah, that's basically what happened. You know, my school didn't do ba my school didn't do jack shit compared to my, to what my little brother's school did for Veterans Day. My little, my brother, uh, <clears throat> my little brother's school, uh, they had, like, giant things going on, right? They had, like, a bunch of, like, dramatic music and plays and... A giant chorus and crap, and my dad we even joined in on that too. My dad was able to sit in the audience with all the other uh, old people that were in it. So I think that all the cool veterans went out to my little brother's school and did that stuff. Uh, yeah, so they had a little bit better of a time. Topic two. I started reading again. Uh, <laughs> this was a topic I wrote down because I didn't know what to talk about. I was like running out of ideas already. So I'm just going to talk about reading crap. I started reading again. Uh, cause I wanted to start getting smarter. Uh, no, I just wanted to start reading and forcing myself to do that to... Well, if, if you guys already know, I wanted... When I grow up, I want to start, um, making videos. No, not making videos. When I, when I grow up and I, I want to start pursuing in a career with, uh, show business and making TV shows and animation and stuff and stuff like that. And I figured that right, reading books, a lot of books, would uh, be good inspiration to me if I just read the classics and I read all the good stuff and I'd be able to... Read for myself at my own pace and admire other stories and stuff in different forms besides just watching a bunch of TV. So, um, I just finished reading this one book called Shane. Uh, I know this is extremely exciting to you guys, and if you guys have watched it to this point, I am very proud of you. But uh, I just finished watch I just finished reading this book called Shane, and um, it's a it's a good book. It's it's a it's a good book. I read a lot of it. It's it's um, uh, if you guys don't know what Shane is. It's basically this western book. It's a it's a really western book. It's a If you guys have uh, if you guys have seen Logan, like Logan, like the Wolverine Logan and like that one that one book that ugh, they that one uh that one movie they were watching the old western and stuff they kept referencing they kept referencing they kept referencing I would have edited that part out. But they kept referencing that and stuff. Uh, if you guys have seen that then that's basically what it is. I think they actually did make a lot of references to Shane in Logan because Shane is a very classical uh a very classical uh <laughs> western book and i can see why because after i finished reading it it was actually a really good book and i don't even really like reading at all so it was a very short book it was really good it was really fun to watch and what is going on in there shit up those were my brothers okay um I finished, watching, I finished reading Shane, and that was a good book. It was, I'd really recommend it to you guys if you like action novels or whatever. If your teacher's forcing you to read and you just you want to pick any random book off the shelf, just remember old Blake from what I just saw said, read Shane because it's a really fun book to read. And even if you hate reading, this is it's still something that once you get into it, you're going to like it. 
It's basically, I'll give you guys a little of the, the synopsis or something, if that's how it's really pronounced. Um, Shane's basically about this uh, cowboy gunslinger guy who comes into town and this family takes him in and shelters him without knowing who he really is. And in the end, it's, it's just a bunch of, it's just a bunch of, uh, it's from the kid's uh, point of view, it's from a kid's point of view on who he is and you know it's it's really freaking awesome just a little really it's awesome and it's uh <laughs> with a lot with my mom and dad have a lot of friends and like as a kid you get to you get to see your you view your parents friends and stuff from different perspective from like a third person perspective and you don't talk to them much you just like you just see them so i guess that's uh i don't know if this makes sense to you guys but you know it's just it's uh you get to see a story from another kid that has the same kind of perspective on it like as you Except for there's a lot of blood and violence in it. It's like really, really gory for some reason. Okay. Well, of course, Blake, it's a Western. Uh, I finished reading Shane. I feel about this book. I feel like it's a very great book. Like I'm like in a book club right now. Hi, guys. I feel like this is a very great book. I love this book so much. And I just, it's just so much better than masturbating, which is not. All right, I'm reading a new book right now called Beach Road. And I'm just saying, in comparison to Shane, this book is not nearly as good. This is Beach Road. It's by James Patterson. It's basically like a murder mystery kind of book thingy, and I don't, I don't really like it. I don't really like it that much, guys. I'm sorry. I don't, I'm, I'm not into it. I don't know why I told you guys I'm sorry. Like you guys are just gonna be personally offended. Like you're gonna be listening to it. Like <gasps> he doesn't like Beach Road. But I'm just not into it that really much. I'm not, I'm not into it as much as I was into Shane. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry again. Why? Am, I'm such an idiot. Such a retard. But yeah, I, I just don't really like it. But I'm still going to read through it because Mama Ain't Rage, no bitch. I'm going to read through the entire book and see how I feel at the end of it. And that will determine whether I like to read more James Patterson books. And you know, by the way, uh, another side note here, which is also written on the list. Uh, how cool would it be to be an author? I would love to be an author. I'm going to be uh, I'm gonna be undergoing like a lot of... A way harder job, though, than an author because I want to be doing animation and making a TV show, so not only, not only will I be an author, but I'm also gonna be a freaking TV show producer who's gonna do the, not only the, vis the visuals, but the, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot harder work. But it's still something I wanna accomplish with my life. So, uh, I would really like to be an author. That'd be hilarious if I was an author, what kind of books I'd read, right? There was the thought at Burger King. You know what, dude? I'm gonna write a book. You know how like all YouTubers like to write books? I'm gonna write a book. I'm gonna be an author. I'm gonna be like the kind of guy that's sitting on the, sitting on like the one of those two floaties at the, at the pool that they don't deserve. But you're gonna be like, yeah, I wrote a book about a thought at McDonald's. Okay. Um. Oh, something I don't really like about um Beach Road. I'm gonna go back to that topic. Something that I don't really like about that book is that it's like it's based in Hollywood, so a lot of the freaking actors in there, not the actors, but a lot of the characters in that book are just. They're just so full of it, like, yeah, man, it was amazing because I'm in Hollywood and they had, like, a, a cruel Camaro. And I'm, <laughs> it's it's awful. It's just awful. But if you want to read it, then I, I'm not discouraging you guys from reading. I'm just saying it's not for me. Topic three. Uh, now that we're on the subject of reading, uh, should I do a reading channel? <laughs> hey, why I could never do a reading channel? Wait, excuse me? I just wrote why I could never be a reading YouTuber. I could, be, I could definitely be a reading YouTuber. I could do a, a reading channel where I just like every video I do is a chapter off of a book. Actually, you know what? I think I know why I read that, that or why I wrote that down. I'm awful at reading, and I could never be a good reading YouTuber because I let my personality drip through it too much. Because you know, like with uh, reading YouTubers, uh, with reading YouTubers, I'm just gonna say reading YouTubers. You know, like those channels that like uh, where the uh, where the YouTuber likes to just read books and basically and have like the cover is the only thing and that's the only thing. Which, you know, it's it's completely cool if, like, you, you have, like, a book report or something and you don't want to read the book yourself. You just, like, sit back, play a video game, and listen to the book uh, give you the freaking story. It basically, like, it's just feeding it out of your hands. But at the same time, I'd rather just read a book than listen to a, a book be read to me by someone with the most bland voice ever. I mean, every time, every time I look up, like, an audiobook or something like that, like an audiobook or something like that, it's just... The most awful freaking voice actor. I hate it so much. There's gotta be some. There's gotta be some emotion to it, you know. Like when my teachers would like read to me. When my teachers would read, uh, like in like the in a kindergarten or something like that. When the teachers would read to us, they'd have emotion with it. They'd be like, and then the hungry pet. Uh, man, I'm gonna remember you do that. They'd be like, and then the hungry caterpillar wrecked his wife. 
And these children run! They ran! They ran! And they got on the bus and then the bus threw them out because they were black! You know, that, that had some emotion into it. Whereas on like, uh, YouTube channels, uh, readers, they just be like, And then the abusive caterpillar came in and... <laughs> he raped the octopus. But... <laughs> <It's... laughs> I'm so stupid, I'm, I'm embarrassing myself. But, um, yeah. They don't have emotion into it, which is, I think, I feel like I could do it better. If I, were, if I ever were to do a reading channel, I'd have to heavily edit it, those, because I don't want my audience to have to listen to me read a story all stutter, stuttering. I'd be like, and then, yeah, what was like a three page chapter is now a 20 minute video. <laughs> hey, monetization though. Can you get monetized for reading other people's books? Huh. Why are you reading? I already did that. What would, what bad? Well, yeah, because like I said before, um, my personality would drip through way too much if I ever did a reading, uh, if I ever, if I ever did a reading channel. I mean, like I'd be reading a book in the beginning of the book I'm reading right now, Beach Road. There's like a freaking sex scene, which I don't think really belongs in a book because you're reading a book and unless there's illustrations, it doesn't really, it's not really the place for anything horny to happen, but whatever you do you boo but uh there's like a sex scene in it and it was really freaking weird by like this like tattooed guy and they were doing like a rape fantasy or something like that this was this was and keep in mind this was a book that was in my school i got from my school library i picked it off the shelf and was like you know what this doesn't have a freaking cover on it so no one can get it or so i can't get embarrassed if anyone sees it so i just picked out something random and i'm reading it and uh, this had a sex scene in it, so I feel like if I ever made like a reading channel and I, I was like reading off of uh, this and it, like a scene came on that, I'd just be like laughing my ass off. I'd be like, and then he touched my clitoris <laughs> or something like that. And yeah, I, I'd never be able to do a really at a reading channel. But um, hey, if you guys want to see me do a reading channel and see me embarrass myself, which I'm pretty sure you guys would love to do, see me do because let's face it, YouTube, everyone loves to see their favorite YouTuber embarrass themselves. You know, whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever. Someday. I'll try it. Maybe. Someday. Probably not this book, though, because this book sucks. But uh, I might try, like, a basic book or something like that just to test it out. Anyway, I'm going to sum up the conclusion here because I'm pretty sure I'm well past 10 minutes. And I only got, like, a 10-minute long gameplay video, so I'm going to have to get two. I, I really hate to have to get two because I already deleted one. But I'm going to restate the topics here. Uh, the day In today's video, you guys heard me talk about Veterans Day. You heard me talk about books and reading channels, and yeah, those are some the three topics I wanted to talk about today. So if there's anything you else you want me to talk about in my next podcast, tell me in the oh I just got a notification. So if there's anything you guys want to talk to me about in my and my next podcast, then just uh, feel free to tell me in the comment section below. Just say hey yo, I want you to talk about furries having sex, you know, do whatever man. Uh. <laughs> Or you want me to talk about Jay Crispy or something like that, or why um, I haven't been making a diss track to him like I should have been. Basically, I... Uh, <laughs> Stop giving me notifications! Uh, yeah, that's the podcast for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'm sorry they were not uploading last Friday. I should have, but I just couldn't bother. I'm Alright, I'm sorry. See you guys. I hope you guys have a great day, great Tuesday, and see you. Peace out. Okay, squat. Squat up on that Squat up on that booty. Home is where we were, home is where we want to be And yes, we don't have time to say goodbye And this ain't the last time Now this time before we go Raise your hands, raise your toes Time is something special just like love before it starts to snow It's crazy how the years have gone Memories of the drug we're on But darling, just remember That there's never a goodbye